The Orange County Marathon uh, Running Festival is back after more than a two-year pause due to the pandemic. Thousands of runners are there right now. They're all taking part for various reasons. Kate Lefias, Christina Pascucci, is live for us at the OC Fairgrounds this morning in Costa Mesa with some of those inspiring stories. Hi, Scooch. Good to see you guys, and the stories are so inspiring, Mark. You have people in their 80s and 90s running the marathon. You have people who are overcoming or recovering from brain surgery who had heart attacks, and they are changing their life, challenging themselves to a level they never have before. Okay, so on the right side, these are the half marathoners. The, this is no easy beat, 13.1 miles. On the left side is going to be the marathon finishers. We've seen a few of them come through. 8,000 runners in all, and they haven't been here since 2019, so it's a really big deal. I want to bring in someone right now. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, I'm Rosanna Valdez, and I'm from Downey, California, and I came to see my daughter, Elisa. She just passed. We saw her as she was running by, and the excitement and everything. That was a big moment for you. Yes, it was. Uh, she's doing the beach challenge, which is three marathons in one year. She did the Huntington Beach, now the OC, and in October, she does the Long Beach and they get an extra medal. You said you passed on running to her. Yes, I did. I used to do the LA Marathon and the OC Marathons, but I got older and I want to still be able to walk, so I gave her my, the torch so she could continue running. That must be very emotional as a mama. Well, I mean, she had the look of determination on her face just now, and she was crossing that finish line. Yes, she she's very determined. She loves to run. We eat very healthy, and this is a great event, a family event. So we love it. We love running. Thank you for talking Thank you so to much. us. Thank you for coming. Yes, it's, it's our honor to be here. And I want to show you guys, we were interviewing some of the runners as they were crossing the finish line earlier. There's one guy who was third on a half marathon. He's a PE teacher. And we asked him, you know, what he wanted to say to his students. So take a look at that. And what's your message to your students? Like I said, um, find something that you can do for the rest of your life. Don't become a couch potato. Find whatever activity it is so you can go out into nature, into the world, and have you have passion, and you can do it for the rest of your life. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any tips for training? All right. Keep, keep one foot in front of the other and never give up. Noah. Reach out, Lindsay. And you guys, as someone who ran a marathon a few years back, I will say the scariest part is making the decision to do it. When you get out here on race day, the energy of, the, of people cheering you on really helps you you go, put one foot in front of the other. So anyone can do it. You're seeing people from all walks of life, all different stories doing this. And so it's super inspiring to see. Coming up at 8.30, there is a man, 26 years old. He was told he would never walk again. He just walked the equivalent of 145 marathons from New York to L.A. So we'll hear his story. Super excited to bring that to you. And then in the 10 a.m. hour, a huge surprise you're not going to want to miss. All right, Mark Lynette, I'll throw it back to you. You know, Christina, one of the things I think is so great is the fact that people can be out there after, you know, being off for two years because of the pandemic. A lot of people have been training on their own and they're really ready to get back out there together. Yeah, absolutely. And they had a virtual version of this too during the pandemic, Lena. And so many people told me it just wasn't the same. So being here today in person, being able to do this means so much to them. I love seeing people behind you coming yeah, through. Right? guys like, yeah! Oh, that's really awesome. Yeah, cheer them on for us. They're doing great. Kick to the finish. There you go. Great job.